In a world where Spider-Man and Doctor Doom represent two extremes of heroism and villainy, a collision of their worlds always promises to be epic. One is a friendly neighborhood hero, the other a tyrant with a nation at his disposal. Yet, what if the threads of fate weaved a scenario where these two contrasting figures were forced to ally? This article delves into an unprecedented event where Spider-Man and Doctor Doom's paths cross, not just as enemies, but as unlikely allies bound by a greater threat. It started, like most world-shaking events, with an ominous shadow on the horizon. For months, Spider-Man, also known as Peter Parker, had been dealing with the regular chaos of New York City. Between managing his personal life and battling a rogues gallery of villains, Peter was caught in an unending cycle of heroics. But something was off this time, crime in the city was behaving strangely. The usual players, from petty thieves to seasoned criminals, seemed organized as if directed by a single mind. Meanwhile, far away in the sovereign land of Latveria, Victor Von Doom, the notorious Dr. Doom, sat in his castle, aware of something catastrophic brewing. Latveria had long remained isolated, shielded by Doom's iron fist and superior technology. However, Doom's vast network of spies and mystical artifacts detected a growing disturbance that even he couldn't ignore. It wasn't just a threat to Latveria or Doom's rule, but to the entire planet. Both Spider-Man and Doctor Doom were aware of a dark force growing, but they had no idea their paths would intersect. The Rise of an Ancient Foe the source of the growing danger was none other than Dormammu, a being of pure evil from the Dark Dimension, intent on conquering the Earth Realm. Dormammu had long sought to extend his dominion, but Earth had always resisted, thanks to the likes of Doctor Strange and other powerful sorcerers. This time, though, Dormammu had grown more cunning. Rather than launching a full-on assault, he planned to infiltrate Earth by turning its champions and guardians against one another. Dormammu's scheme began by manipulating the minds of Earth's superheroes and villains, sowing distrust and confusion. Through mystical means, he infiltrated New York City, which led Spider-Man to notice the strange behavior among the city's criminals. Unbeknownst to Peter, many of his closest allies and villains had already fallen under Dormammu's influence. Meanwhile, Doctor Doom, through his arcane prowess, discovered that Dormammu's forces were targeting him as well. He knew the only way to save Latveria, and indeed the world, was to seek unlikely help. A Treacherous Proposal In an unexpected turn, Dr. Doom reached out to Spider-Man. Peter was, of course, suspicious when Doom himself contacted him through an encrypted message, proposing a meeting. What business could a mad tyrant have with a hero like Spider-Man? Curiosity, along with a sense of responsibility, led Peter to cautiously accept the invitation. The meeting took place in an abandoned warehouse in New York, where Doom appeared, flanked by his Doombots. Spider-Man, perched on a wall, couldn't help but crack a joke to ease the tension. What's the matter, Doom? Your metal suit too heavy for the plane? Doom, as usual, was unfazed by the quip. He explained the gravity of the situation, revealing Dormammu's influence over Earth and the impending cataclysm. Despite his natural distrust, Spider-Man couldn't deny the severity of the threat. Yet working with Dr. Doom, a man who had nearly conquered the world multiple times, seemed like a gamble. But Doom, being as manipulative as ever, knew exactly how to appeal to Peter's sense of duty. He presented evidence that several of Spider-Man's closest allies, including the Avengers, were already under Dormammu's control. If something wasn't done soon, the world would plunge into chaos. With a reluctant alliance formed, Doom and Spider-Man embarked on a mission to stop Dormammu. Doom, leveraging his knowledge of sorcery and science, crafted a plan to infiltrate the Dark Dimension using a mystical artifact known as the Eye of Scorn. The Eye would allow them to bypass Dormammu's defenses, but the journey would be treacherous. Before entering the Dark Dimension, Doom presented Spider-Man with a new suit of armor magically enhanced to withstand the harsh conditions of Dormammu's realm. At first, Peter hesitated to accept anything from Doom, but he understood the necessity. The armor, silver and dark green with arcane symbols etched into it, amplified his strength and agility, making him more capable of facing the monstrous entities that awaited them. 
Together, they traversed through portals and entered the dark dimension, a twisted world of crimson skies, floating rocks, and the ever-looming presence of Dormammu. The journey was fraught with danger, as they faced legions of mind-controlled minions, including some familiar faces like Doctor Strange, who had fallen under Dormammu's influence. The battles were intense, but Doom's tactical genius combined with Spider-Man's agility and instincts made them a formidable duo. Along the way, Spider-Man couldn't help but notice Doom's raw power and determination, even if he was ruthless and egotistical. For all of Doom's villainy, Peter realized that he truly cared for Latveria and, in his own way, for humanity, albeit from a position of dominance. As they neared Dormammu's stronghold, tension between Spider-Man and Doom began to rise. Doom had always been a man of schemes, and Peter couldn't shake the feeling that Doom had a hidden agenda. Was this alliance genuine, or was Doom simply using Spider-Man as a pawn for his own ends? When they finally confronted Dormammu, the Demon Lord was massive, towering over them like a god. His voice boomed across the dimension, mocking them for thinking they could stop him. Doom, always the strategist, unleashed a barrage of energy blasts and spells, while Spider-Man used his enhanced abilities to dodge Dormammu's attacks and land hits where he could. But as the battle reached its peak, Dormammu made a chilling revelation, Dr. Doom's true goal wasn't to save Earth. Doom had struck a secret deal with Dormammu. In exchange for helping defeat Earth's heroes and establishing Doom as the ruler of the planet, Dormammu would allow Latveria to remain free from his influence. Spider-Man, blindsided by this revelation, felt betrayed. All the doubts he had about Doom came rushing back, but there was no time for introspection. Dormammu's assault intensified, and even though Doom had his own agenda, they still needed to defeat the Demon Lord to survive. Redemption and Victory In the final moments of the battle, something unexpected happened. Despite his manipulations and plans, Doom realized that Dormammu could not be trusted. The Demon Lord would never honor their deal, and Doom's beloved Latveria would be destroyed like the rest of the world. In a surprising turn, Doom turned against Dormammu, using the full extent of his powers to weaken the Dark Lord. Spider-Man, still reeling from the betrayal but understanding the stakes, joined in, delivering a final blow that sent Dormammu back to the Dark Dimension. Exhausted but victorious, Spider-Man and Doctor Doom stood in the aftermath of the battle. There was no handshake, no acknowledgement of friendship, only a cold, mutual understanding. Doom, true to his nature, made it clear that their alliance was over and that the next time they met, it would be as enemies. Don't think this changes anything, Spider-Man, Doom said as he walked away, his cape billowing in the wind. The next time we meet, Latveria will crush you. Peter watched as Doom vanished into a portal, left alone to process the events that had unfolded. The world was safe, for now, but the uneasy alliance between Spider-Man and Doctor Doom had left a lasting mark on both men. It was a reminder that, sometimes, even the most unlikely of allies can come together in the face of greater evil, but in the world of superheroes and villains, trust is always in short supply. The alliance between Spider-Man and Doctor Doom was a fleeting moment in an otherwise hostile relationship. For one brief period, their interests aligned, and they worked together to save the world from a threat beyond their individual capabilities. Yet, as with all things involving Dr. Doom, the truce was temporary, built on convenience rather than trust. While the world was saved from Dormammu's grasp, both Spider-Man and Doom knew that the future held more conflicts, and next time, they would be on opposite sides again.